of Lagos. I'm on the set playing the role of Lacey. Um, the writer keeps correcting me on how to pronounce the name. I think it's Lacey. Lacey, yeah. So she's basically Joa's younger sister. She's a very sweet person. She's his confidant and basically like his best friend because his friends don't really pay attention to him. So I am playing the character of a loving, sweet, sweet, sweet sister. Um, Lacey tries to convince her parents that her brother is going through a lot and they also kind of ignore her as well. So yeah, that's my character. In three, two, one, and action! Can't you show the talk, only talk in your pine? Yeah, hey guys, my name is Abayo Mielvin and uh, I am on set playing, guess what I'm playing? I'm playing the Capone. And of course, you know, when you hear say that the call person Capone, look Capone B. Capone are the guy with the run tools to come to us. Capone are the guy with the chop all the girls with the cows <laughs> Kapoor that the guy with the you know the guys they come bout you want to say you be done now uh, done Pablo you know what I'm talking about yeah so basically basically Capone is just you know is the head of uh, confraternity and uh, I think this is the first time I'm playing something like this I mean I've played the bad guys in movies but this is the first time I'm I'm playing cultists and it's pretty interesting really being on set with amazing people you know it's really interesting. Hello, 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 it's your friendly neighborhood teddy bear, Greg Teddy Bear Ojekwa, and I am here on the set of Crossroads playing Osama. Now, Osama on this one is uh, a member of um, a supreme. Um, court group on campus called the Black Cargos. And um, together with the Capon and um, other members of the clan, we set out to carry out a very important political arrangement that was meant to uh, take the direction of the elections to another level. I don't want to, you know the way I do my BTS now. I don't, I don't usually tell people everything because when I talk, you finish watching the film. So I'm going to keep it encrypted so you are forced to go out and watch the movie Crossroads. Okay? This is two times you are not out of here. Okay, that's the Out. 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 My name is Desmond Shepard and I'm playing the character Z on this set, Cross Rose. Z, hmm, very interesting character. Actually, when I read the script, 
I loved it. See, <sighs> see, he's a two-faced guy. Cool, gentle. Is this kind of guy when you see on the how this guy like God? Dude? No God, die. But then at the other side, <laughs> he draws you close to the devil. That's who Z is. And that's the character I'm playing here on this set. On the set of Crossroads, the movie, I'm playing the role of Joao Ju, who is the lead character and the leading man in the movie. He's a, he's a fresher, a fresh undergraduate getting into university and he comes from a well-to-do family but uh, fortunately his parents are too busy to attend to his uh, his needs about life and life experiences so somehow encounters cultism you know and somehow just without a sense of direction has just goes in a very downward dark space in life and uses a story to, you know, explain the whole movie. I can't hear you. You said something? No, really, I can't. I can't hear you. Say, say it again. <laughs> Um, for me, it's just um, the fact that I'm a bad guy, okay? You know, Teddy Bear is getting a lot of, you know, good boy, good man, Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear role lately. lately. You know, I love my comedy. I, I, I won't lie about that. But, you know, I jump on any opportunity to just show other sides of my range. And, you know, this is an opportunity and I took it. Bad guy things. That's how we do. Well, what strikes me, uh, I read the script, I mean, yeah, basically, you know, when you see head of cultists in movies, everybody bows to him, everybody respects him, he's try, he tries to show himself. But um, for me, I think it's basically how I bring him to life. I, I want every time he steps, every time people see him on screen, they see him as this larger than life, life kind of guy. So um, I think it's just the way I'm going to play it. Um, not necessarily the shouty shouty, you know, the usual, oh, yo, come here, I, 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 I. just come in like this bad guy where you be for campus. Me, don't even need to shout too much. Let your guys do the talking and you, you just do the this, 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 and let everybody bow for you. It's, so I just like that, I like that, and it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I love it, I love it. What strikes me is about the fact that you can't tell who he really is. Because when you see him from the start, the way he dresses with the Bible and all that, you can't tell this guy is going to hurt a fly the way he calls Jesus, call God, praise another man. This guy is going to heaven. But man, <laughs> he's close to the devil. The name of the one that I was supposed to Means your life is in sync with the brotherhood. You see, you're still one of us. We're one of us, brother. There are consequences. For me, it's uh, what really strikes me is the negligence that the character suffered from his parents. I would say her kind-heartedness, the fact that she keeps striving to, like she doesn't try to give up on like telling her parents that this is going on. She tells her parents like up to like three times. So she keeps telling them back to back like, your son is in trouble. Try and get him out of this trouble. Try and pay attention to your son's needs. Try, try and pay attention to our needs. So she's very consistent with that. She's also very kind because I'm very kind. <laughs> so yeah, she's very, very kind. And yeah, that just strikes me because like it kind of like is my kind of person. So it just seems like we are the same. Lacey and I are the same. Yeah. Uh, 
Well, I, I wouldn't say it's been challenging. It's been really easy playing the summer because, you know, we, we all went to, well, like most of us went to universities and I had my of uh, associating with all um, types of people and, you know, just being on the summer came natural. But, uh, <laughs> I went to Uniben, you know, so <laughs> when you mingle with people, you see people, you hear stories, you know, it's just easy to relate. I mean, I'm an actor, so I mean, I got the script, I saw it, I, I totally saw where I wanted to take the character to. So, and I started researching, started trying to get into that character from the very first moment I saw the script. So, how has it been? I won't say easy, but again, this is what I do. It's not meant to be easy. So, <laughs> but again, I'm not going to come here complaining that, oh, it was hard. It's what I do. And you just enjoy it on screen, basically. I would say it was like in between because there were times where I had to like learn some lines and it was a bit difficult. I mean, everybody will face challenges with that. I'm not God. So, but my characters always try to, you know, my fellow characters try to always make things easier, you know, make jokes and all of that. So I'll say that also like made playing the role easier, you know. I didn't seem like I was forced to do anything. I it seemed more like a natural thing because I'll say the people that act, are acting with me actually are bringing out, you know, the character in me. So yeah, I think that's why it's making it easier. What I did was, um, when I got the script, I just tried to study the script. Like I always say, I study, don't just read. You study, then I take myself out of me and wear Z. See myself as Z. That's the only way I can interpret it. So when I'm on set, I'm not me, I'm Z. You know, that is it. That's the best way. So I just um, try to give in all that I can, you know. Imagine things that people like this can do. You know, being rude and being mischievous at the same time. First of all, every role has uh, its prerequisites and its requirements that specific character actors rather fit, which would help enhance when they tell the story. Uh, uh, my looks gives most of the time gives me the look of a young guy, so it was, it was right for me to fit into a fresh undergraduate. Uh, concerning how easy or difficult it was for me, well, to be honest, I don't find things like acting difficult. It's always it's a gift for me. It's, it's, a, it's a very strong talent I have. Something I'm very confident of. I can do in my sleep. So. But then again, you know, it also requires a lot of hard work, preparing, you know, mentally, doing, understanding the character, the scene breakdowns and character circumstances between each and every scene. So I did a lot of the hard work before I got on set. So getting on set, I just came here to deliver what I had practiced already. My name is Francis Ochainu director of the movie Crossroad, the saga. Uh, it's not been easy trying to manage everybody on set because you plan on paper by, and by the time you get to set, reality will dawn on you that paper and set are two different things. Then when you need to get people to move to make the things easier, Everybody is dragging your feet, so at some point in time, I have to do the role of PA, producer, PM, and every other thing on set to make sure that things go well. For me, how I work, I don't believe uh, because you are the director, you sit on chair and wait for everybody to do something, then you just come and cut short. I try as much as I can to be part of everything from the beginning. If light is not working, I want to know why it's not working and find out where I can help. So that's how I work. Thank you. 
Well, for me, I, I try as much as I can to play the story in such a way that it's relatable to everybody. Well, I think one thing that strikes me personally about the story is Money is not everything. You can have all the wealth, you can give your children everything money can buy, but if they are not happy, you won't have them. They will find another means to make themselves happy. I sat down one day. I was talking to a friend of mine who runs um, a child abuse center, a center for sexual harassment, and we were sharing ideas. Uh, fortunately, anyway, we both have psychology backgrounds as our disciplines. We were now sharing ideas, and she was telling me a lot of stories. And I said, ah, the area I grew up in, eh, that kind of a thing can never happen, no? Emotion, brother and sister, lie, lie, you know, but, the reality of the case now is that it doesn't even care which area. Incest is all over the place, but people are just keeping mum about it. So the story started around incest. Crossroads is a, a production that will create awareness of what is going on in the campuses of our institutions. And I hope people will enjoy the scripts and they will enjoy the movie as well. Hi guys, it's Sharon Ephraim, aka Saint Sharon of Lagos. And you are watching. You should keep watching. Stay watching. Nollywood on Seth TV. Not TV. Greg say so. Boom. <laughs>